Welcome back to Halftime Report on CNBC TV 18. Well, Metropolis is the one company on our radar and a very interesting discussion with the management of Metropolis coming up. Remember, Goldman Sachs has also downgraded Metropolis. The brokerage firm believes that competitive intensity is rising in the Western region and that poses a threat to volume growth of Metropolis. Ekta, in fact, caught up with Amira Shah, the promoter and MD of the company, to discuss what she made of the downgrade and also how business momentum is sustaining in a very competitive environment that we have today. See the competitive intensity, there's a lot of perception around people coming into the industry and therefore a lot of price wars, etc. It all depends on what kind of business you've built. If you've built a business which is in the tail end of the industry with customers who are only considering price and are not interested in quality of your services or your outcomes, then this is a bad time for you because you're going to get hit by all the competitive intensity and all the pricing um, uh, challenges that are happening. But for a company like ours who's always built our services on the back of top doctors, top hospitals, really good science, and finally people who value our quality of our reports and our services, and they're not coming to us for being the cheapest provider in the country. Frankly, this competitive intensity is only spurring us uh, to be more innovative, to be more uh, effective, to be more uh, rigorous in our work. And frankly, we are not seeing growth rates uh, fall at all. So if you look at our last year, our non-COVID growth rate was mid-teens, um, and our profit margins were still as good as pre-COVID, except for the little dilution on the lab expansion that we did, which was a one-off. But otherwise, we're expecting a very robust growth um, this year and going forward as well. Uh, so frankly, I think uh, there is a superficial view of the sector and there is a more d deep view of the sector. And I think if people start getting more into the details of uh, the different kinds of players, the different kind of business, there'll be a realization that this industry is not commoditized and this industry is actually all about really good quality outcomes and services. Okay. So just on that point, uh, one of the key factors that they bring up about Metropolis is competitive intensity. And the overall report talks about uh, credible players, you know, the likes of Torrent, Lupin, Mankind. These companies also probably are working on quality as well as price together. Do you think that would be a factor which would eventually weigh down on a competitive geographic area such as the West where you are dominant? Again, Ekta, I think um, in healthcare we confuse uh, generalization with expertise. In other industries, you can be a cement player and you can get into coal, you can get into infrastructure, you can get into something. In healthcare, we have to understand when you go to your cardiologist, you don't say, oh, your wife's a gynecologist, my, my wife will come to you. It doesn't work like that. You go to the best gynecologist, you go to the best cardiologist. The same way you go to the best lab when you have a problem and the more critical your illness, uh, the more you take care in who you go to. Right. So I think uh, each company, and I don't want to comment on any specific company, but pharma companies are wonderful at what they do. And even pharma companies are not experts in all specialties. There are each of these pharma companies you mentioned, somebody's an expert in nephrology, somebody's, uh, and that also in parts of nephrology, some are experts in cardiology, nobody's an expert in anything else. So the same way for all these companies to be an expert in diagnostics and pathology with no prior experience in it uh, is a bit of a leap. It's everybody takes time to mature to build expertise if they ever do. So I think doctors understand these differences. The same way if as a pathology company we went to a doctor and said, oh doc, now I'm also producing drugs. Why don't you send it to me? The doc's not going to say, oh, metropolis, you send it to me. It doesn't happen. So you have to be an expert in your field and you have to have a right to win. So you're right, there are many well-known companies coming in, but it doesn't automatically mean that the customer will just say, okay, now they've come, so let's send the business there. What about volume and value growth for Metropolis in FY24? Your Q2 update did allude to, you know, um, COVID, non-COVID growth on an adjusted basis in double digits. Do you expect that to probably continue in FY24? Uh, so can't comment too much on the specifics, but as we gave in our business update, uh, we saw sort of a, um, a high team growth, uh, you know, from revenue perspective. And we said that there will be a margin expansion from quarter one to quarter two. Uh, quarter two has been uh, usually one of the better quarters of the year, but that's usually linked to weather. Uh, this year, as you know, August got the least amount of rains uh, across the country. I think 5% of the rain that we normally get. And therefore, uh, September month was not as... Um, uh, you know, you don't have as many patients having illnesses and sicknesses, uh, but you did see more rains in September. So usually uh, the illnesses will chase the weather and diagnostics will chase the illnesses. So therefore, everything is not perfectly, uh, you know, beautifully put in every quarter the same way every year. Uh, and there are changes that happen quarter to quarter. 
Well, we were just talking about PE funding on the panel earlier. Um, you've been in the news earlier in the year for, or maybe a couple of months ago, on the possibility of a stake sale, possibility that you'd look to raise funds. Where do things stand right now? I think we've clarified this a hundred times, Ekta, so I'm not going to comment too much. Uh, there was no such talk two months ago. There were some talks a year ago. Uh, Rumours uh, talking about what the company may do, and we clarified very clearly that uh, we had no intention of um, you know, having any partnerships or investments. Uh, it stays the same. Okay, so that is Amira Shah of Metropolis. It's important to point out that Goldman Sachs, in fact, has downgraded both Dr. Lal's as well as Metropolis to sell, and they have turned bearish on the B2C diagnostic incumbents. However, it, uh, Amira Shah was quite particular about the fact that, you know, not all companies can uh, do diagnostics, and there has to be an expertise and a quality which needs to be brought to the table. We'll take a short break. Prakash Gaba will join in with some trading strategies on the other side. Stay tuned.